Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you're running an Intel-based system, then just to let you know that recently Intel has released their latest and newest wireless Bluetooth driver, 23.30.0. And in conjunction with that, they've also rolled out their latest Wi-Fi driver, which has the same version number, version 23.30.0. Now, if we just head over to the download pages, which I'll leave both of these down below, if you would be interested. Here we can see for wireless Bluetooth for Windows 10 and 11, here's the latest version as mentioned. And here's the download link for the 64-bit version of Windows 10 and Windows 11. And here's the download link for the 32-bit version, which only applies to Windows 10 because um, Windows 11 is only available as a 64-bit OS, as you may well know. And here's all the information you would need. And here's the products pertaining to the actual wireless Bluetooth driver. So here's a list and as mentioned this will be down below and if we head to the next there's the Windows 10 and 11 Wi-Fi drivers and here's the version as mentioned and once again here's the 64-bit download link and here's the 32-bit download link and the same applies here's a list of the products and you can go check that out if you would be affected or would be interested and are running an Intel based system. Now, just to have a quick look at the change log for both the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi driver. For the wireless Bluetooth, Intel say they've made improvements to device stability while resuming from hibernate or sleep modes. They've improved connectivity to a second gaming controller, i.e. DualSense. And the driver has been updated to include functional updates. And they also recommend that you should update to the latest version. Now, although they recommend you should update to the latest version, um, I always say though, if you are completely happy with how your system is running with your current drivers, then I would ignore both these drivers. Obviously, that's your personal choice. If you like to have the newest of everything, then go ahead and download them. If you have problems and these drivers are addressing those issues, go ahead and download them. But if you are not and you're completely happy, then I always suggest just ignore the latest and greatest driver updates because sometimes they can cause issues um, on your system so always just keep that in mind so that's the change log for the bluetooth driver which includes three improvements and then heading to the wi-fi driver which has a little bit more and i'm just going to pull out a couple of the key highlights they say on systems blue screen might occur um with an associated intel wireless driver that's the first and then on some systems windows system event id 502 sorry 5002 might occur after resuming from standby mode and i'm just going to mention this one how it's actually mentioned in the release notes they say when lid on some systems the wireless adapter may stop working and show a yellow bang in device manager and then the next one is on some systems wi-fi list might show no wi-fi networks found when connecting to a wireless access point and then also the wireless adapter couldn't connect um, the monitor via Miracast on some systems. So those are some of the key fixes that have rolled out. And then over and above that, just like the Bluetooth driver, it includes functional updates which improve performance, stability, and vendor-specific functionality. And once again, they say you should update to the latest version, which we have just discussed. Now, if you'd like to check where you can see what type of um, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi driver you are using, um, on Windows 10 and Windows 11, the quickest way is to right-click on your Start Menu button, click on Device Manager, and this is the Legacy Device Manager, as you well may well know. And then what I would suggest is go to View and Show Hidden Devices, and yeah, you can see here's your Bluetooth. Now I'm not running an Intel-based Bluetooth, but yeah, you would see um, what adapter you have, so you can check that out with those download pages that I showed you just a short while ago and here is the network adapters your Wi-Fi so there you go and once again I'm not running an Intel based Wi-Fi adapter but yeah you will see if what type of Intel based Wi-Fi adapter so if you see Intel here then go check that list out on those download pages and that's what's new guys just wanted to put it out there because I do know some of you um, are running Intel based systems uh, with both uh, uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and that's the latest as mentioned which is version 23.30.0 for both Intel wireless Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi drivers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.